Now with the latest on that fatal fire on a Harlem movie set that killed 37-year-old firefighter Michael Davidson. He was laid to rest Tuesday here in New York. You see them there marching through the streets of Manhattan. Thousands gathered to say goodbye to the fallen hero. And now Ed Norton's company is being sued over the fire. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with that story. Good morning, Gio. Hey, George. Good morning. Tenants who survived the fire not only accused the film crew of being reckless, they say crew members misled them, saying the fire had been put out. Now, just days after the fire, the tenants are taking this to court. This morning, a multi-million dollar lawsuit against actor and director Edward Norton's production company after a fire destroyed the building they were shooting a movie in, killing a beloved FDNY firefighter. The flames are shooting now real intense, and you can feel the heat real, real bad. Now Erica Cruz and her brother George, who have filed the suit, say the production company, Class 5 Films, did not warn the tenants about the fire and that the crew misled the tenants into believing the fire had been extinguished. The suit says she was required to run for her life down several sets of dark stairs, engulfed in smoke, unable to breathe or see where she was going, while fearful of falling with each step. She says she lost everything. I believe this lawsuit is premature because the city fire inspector hasn't even done an investigation. Norton had been on the scene of the fire Thursday night, filming his latest movie, Motherless Brooklyn. Authorities say the crew was just wrapping up when the fire ignited in the cellar. The suit claims Norton's company kept equipment there. Over the weekend, Norton posting on Instagram, had our team not noticed the situation and responded and alerted the fire department with the speed they did, I believe the residents of the building above would have perished. The morning after the fire, we spoke with the tenant who also made it out alive. His second floor apartment was destroyed. He didn't say whether the film crew warned him, but he gets emotional thinking about the firefighters who pulled him out. He's especially grateful to 37 year old Michael Davidson, who lost his life fighting the blaze. I'm alive talking with you. It's because of their bravery by risking their lives to save us civilians. That's right. And this morning, the Cruz family is seeking $5 million in damages with this lawsuit. They're also su suing the building's owner. We've reached out to him and Norton's production company for comment, but we've not heard back just yet. Such a tragic story. Yeah, it really is. Thank you, Gio. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.